so we had to wait a bit for No one can launch. accuse it's Swedish it's astronaut Christer Fuglesang of being unprepared for his upcoming mission to the International Space Station, which is scheduled to blast off in December. Fuglesang was a 33-year-old researcher in Geneva when he saw a European Space Agency advert looking for astronauts. I had all this kind of had in my back on the mind, I would like to go to space if I ever get a chance. I didn't really have a clear picture of becoming an astronaut, but I, you know, I wanted to go to space if I could, so I made a pretty quick decision, yeah, of course I'm going to apply. In May 1992, the Swedish physicist was selected to join ESA's astronaut corps, and the following year he began training at the Russian Astronaut Center in Star City. It was at Star City that Fuglesang first met fellow ESA astronaut Thomas Reiter, who he will bring back from the International Space Station in December. The two young European astronauts learned how to operate the Soyuz spacecraft and simulate spacewalks. But that was not the hardest part of the training, according to Fuglesang. The toughest part was to learn the Russian language. At that time we didn't have any interpreters, there was no material in English, you really had to do everything in Russian. Uh, when people say to ask me what is the hardest you kind of being national, well, to learn Russian, that was the hardest ever for me. Fuglesang was a member of the backup crew for the Euromir 95 mission, which lasted 179 days. A year later, he entered the mission specialist class at NASA Johnson Space Center in Houston. Houston was initially something of a culture shock for the Stockholm-born astronaut. As a Swede in, in Houston, uh, first of all, there's a very different climate here. You are uh, warm, at least when you're outside, it's very hot. And at least I miss uh, not having the four seasons. However, the 49-year-old father of three had no problems adapting to the NASA work environment. In 1992, Fuglesang was chosen as a crew member of the STS-116 space shuttle mission, which is scheduled to take off for the International Space Center on December the 7th. It will be Christa's first space flight and the first ever space mission for a Nordic citizen, a feat he is proud of. Well, of course, it's fun to be the, the, the first, and uh, I think and I hope that will kind of mean a lot to, to, to Sweden also, that they, people will see the joy with space, the adventure, the, the, the future space, the raised interest of space. Fuglesang's STS-116 flight marks the start of a series of complex missions scheduled oh, yeah, to complete yeah, yeah. the International Space Station. The astronaut's main task is to make sure everything goes right, but a large chunk of the training is about what to do when things go wrong. And these are all procedures we hope to never run because these are all something breaks. Since the International Space Station was launched in 1998, it has been running on a temporary electrical power system. With the arrival of two more huge electricity generating solar panels in September, all the pieces are in place to switch to a more permanent system. But in orbit, that is not easy. The plan is to send Fuglesang and NASA crewmate Robert Kirbym on two spacewalks, each devoted to rewiring one half of the International Space Station. It is a complex task that might run into difficulties. Power cables might be stiff and the old solar panels might be difficult to fold up. Hence the months and years of hard and meticulous training. But it is not all hard work and no play. Occasionally, Krista and his astronaut colleagues come for a relaxing drink at the outpost bar near NASA HQ. But even here, it is impossible to escape the daunting mission that awaits them. Of course, that's very kind of easy to me to relate to because that's what I'll be doing on the space station. A Russia-trained Swede working at NASA and on his way to the International Space Station for ESA. Does space exploration get any more international than that? <laughs>